All right, number one, we have this angle here, 510 degrees, and we're asked to find the secant of that angle. All right, so what we're going to do here is first we're going to find the reference angle. Remember, the reference angle is the smallest angle that we can make with the x-axis. So if we go all the way around here, that's 360 degrees. And then if we were to go all the way around uh, halfway, so make one and a half turns, that would be uh, 540 degrees, uh, 360 plus another 180. And so that 540 minus the 510 gives us this reference angle of 30 degrees. All right, so we have 30 degrees here, and um, we can make a little, a little triangle that we should recognize as one of our reference triangles. This is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Um, and remember our, our reference triangle. Let me just erase this for a minute. Our reference, our 30, 60, 90 reference triangle. This was 30 degrees, this is 60 degrees, and this is our 90 degree angle. The short side is uh, length one. The uh, hypotenuse is length two, and then this other side is square root of three. That's our reference triangle for a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And we said that this here was our, was our reference triangle, 30 degrees. Now notice it's going backwards from the origin, so our x value is going to be negative. Um, and then we're going up, so our y value will be positive. Um, so now we have this reference triangle, and we're trying to find the secant. So the secant of, uh, of this 510 degrees is going to be equal to, um, and remember secant is the is the reciprocal of cosine. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So the secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. So this is going to be 2 over the square root of 3, and it's negative. Um, but then we want to uh, rationalize this denominator. We don't like having irrational numbers in our denominator. So we're going to multiply by square root of 3 over the square root of 3, and what we're left with is uh, negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. This root 3 times root 3 is 3, and that's going to be our answer. All right, so the steps are to, to find your reference triangle and then set that up um, and use that to find the, um, the trig function that you're looking for. All right, so let's do, let's do number three. Number three is asking us to find the tangent of this angle. And we have, uh, now we have a 945 degree angle. So that's going all the way around twice. And then another half a loop would be 900 degrees. And then down to here, uh, that's 900 degrees and 45 degrees. And so this reference angle here, so just this piece, is going to be this uh, 945 minus where we were after two and a half turns, which is 900 degrees. 360 plus 360 plus another 180 is 900 degrees. So this reference angle is 45 degrees. And we can use our uh, our 45, 45, 90 reference angle to find the tangent of this. And now, now we're going uh, backwards and down. So this is going to be negative 1, this is negative 1, and this is the square root of 2. All right, and so now to find the tangent of our angle, 945 degrees, um, that's going to be equal to the, uh, the, uh, adjacent, uh, the opposite side over the adjacent side. So negative 1 over negative 1, which is just 1. 
So the tangent of 945 degrees is just one.